Hello everybody. It's Monday morning, time for our devotion. We're continuing with the cup of our life and this week's theme is the broken cup. And this week, uh, Joyce talks about how brokenness is often translated as suffering in our lives, but that suffering is also the flip side of joy. And then she talks about how we go through seasons in which these are parts of our lives. There are seasons of suffering, there are seasons of joy. Uh, I like seasons that are just normal. Uh, those are sometimes my favorite seasons. And I realized because I live in a house with a six-year-old that we just crossed over into the season of spring. Now, we're not experiencing spring the way we had planned or prepared or thought we would. Uh, but I came outside to where we're having some new landscaping done at the church as a reminder that spring comes anyways. That spring outside, at least in this part of the country, is reminding us that new life still happens, no matter what season we might be personally in our lives. I also want to remind us as a church family, but also as a human family, that we have done hard things before. We have been through many seasons in this church in our uh, many decades and over 180 years of being together. Uh, we know how to do hard things. We also know what we can survive. We know what can come out of different seasons. Uh, we can learn a lot about ourselves. We can learn about our faith. We can learn about God's presence in our lives in these seasons in ways that we might not any other way. It might not be the way we choose to learn, but we do learn it. As I said yesterday at the table, it is important in these times to ask ourselves the question, what is this suffering? What is this pain? What is this change teaching me? What am I going to learn because of it? So I invite each of you to take time today, if you get a chance, even if it's just looking out your window, to try and get a peek of the ways that spring is still happening that new life is still blooming as a reminder that new life does come even when we have to wait in ways we didn't expect. Let's go to God in prayer. Gracious, loving God of all seasons and all times. We know that you are present with us in this particular time and moment of our lives and our history. In this season, you are still pouring out your strength for us to help us get through whatever we are trying to get through today and this week and this month. We trust that your son who knew both the brokenness and the suffering also knew joy. He knew laughter and he knew tears. He knew that the human experience is not just one thing, but many things and that he is present with us now as well. Help us to find creative ways to reach out to each other, to see new life in the midst of this current season. And we ask all of this in the name of our Savior. Amen. Be well and be safe, my friends.